fan assist, power vent water heaters, power direct vent water heaters, all have a fan or a blower assembly up on top of them. Um, inside the blower assembly, there's a service panel, a couple of safety circuits, and three specific error codes. You have a two flash, a three flash, and then a six, what I call a six two flash. They're all encompassed around pressure switch operation, temperature safety switch operation, and in some cases, we're gonna to have to lean on the manometer or a couple of tools to do greater definition or diagnostics. We have the blower assembly off the top of the water heaters. And what I'm gonna do, removing the service panel to gain access to both our pressure switch and our temperature switch. Both of those components are linked back to the error codes. For testing our pressure switch, I've taken the liberty of cutting our tubing, goes from the switch to the fan assembly. I put in place an inline T connector that our manometer connects to. So your manometer tubing goes directly to that T. When the fan assembly is on, we'll record the vacuum. We refer back to our service manual. It is a good vacuum or a vacuum that needs further evaluation. The temperature switch is a normally closed contact. Those contacts are tested using a multimeter. Should be continuity from one side of the switch to the other. Now that we've measured our vacuums, we would need to go back to the service manual to see what is the specific pressure or vacuum we're looking for for that model. The service manual will outline or detail those specifications, or if you still need help, give us a call at technical support.